All right, all right. LDWMAC, this is your boy, the coach. And you're live, live, live on the coaching show, the coaching show live. Man, man, man. You know what? I think we all knew how this fight would go. But I got to tell you, I got a surprise. I was kind of surprised on how this fight went. Seriously. I was surprised on how this fight went. Okay. You know, we knew how the fight was going to go, but I was surprised how this fight went. Okay. And I'm going to explain. So Mackenzie Dern, we all know that Mackenzie Dern is a high-level jiu-jitsu practice. Like, we know she's high-level jiu-jitsu, okay? Nobody on here is going to dispute that. And it's almost suicide to go to the ground with Mackenzie Dern. Unless you are a high-level judoka yourself. I'm not judoka, jiu-jitsu. See, I keep getting judoka, man. I don't know why I say that stupid crap. But anyway, let's keep going. Unless you are a high-level jiu-jitsu practitioner, okay, then you go to the ground with Mackenzie Dern. If your jiu-jitsu is not even close to the level of Mackenzie Dern, you don't go to the ground, Mackenzie Dern. You make Mackenzie Dern beat you another way. That's common sense. Hannah Cyphers, okay, I don't think it was athleticism. I don't think it was attitude. I don't think it was physicality. Hannah Cyphers lost because of octagon IQ. Hannah Cyphers lost his fight. Because of Octagon IQ. Hannah Cyphers was winning the fight. Yes, Hannah Cyphers, a 3-1 to one underdog, was winning this fight. She had it pretty much. I mean, the game plan that Hannah was using was working. However, when Hannah deviated from the game plan, that's when the fight went, it just went bad. Standing up, Mackenzie Dern had some really good shots. And I'm starting to notice a change in Mackenzie's striking. You know, notice, I remember her chin used to be so high up in the air. Mackenzie Dern actually got a chin, chin chuck, tucked behind her jab. Okay, Mackenzie Dern is hiding behind a jab. She eats, she's throwing a nice little jab before she sets up that right hand. And it's actually starting to look good, man. Mackenzie Dern is actually being able to throw some punches. And I'm going to tell y'all, okay, I know we don't like Mackenzie Dern. I know. But I'm going to tell y'all, when Mackenzie Dern polished that up, when she throw that one-two and polish that up, hey, man, some people are going to be going to damn sleep. She ain't going to even have to try to tap him out or submit him. They're going to be going to sleep. Mackenzie Dern looked good, y'all. And I'm not saying like in a voluptuous way or in a in like a she looked good way. I'm talking about she looked good. Like physicality-wise, this is the best shape that I've ever seen Mackenzie Dern in. I mean, Mackenzie Dern was damn near shredded. Okay, she was damn near shredded. She don't even look like she looked like in this photograph. Okay, I don't know. Mackenzie looked like she probably about 140 in this photograph right here. Maybe even 150. She looked heavy in this photograph. Nah, that's not the Mackenzie Dern that fought. The Mackenzie Dern that fought, she was damn near shredded. I mean, look, you can look in the background and see the and see the photo. That's Mackenzie Dern. Very, very shredded, y'all. And I said to myself, okay, she looked good. She looked mobile. She didn't look drained. Like, you know, normally, you know, Mackenzie Dern trying to get down to the straw weight limit. She looked drained. Looked like she about to damn pass out. This time, Mackenzie Dern looked good. She looked focused. You know what? And I think having a kid, and I hate to say this, I think having a kid probably was the best thing for her because you kind of do like you're no longer this immature little girl. You know, you have responsibility. So you don't have time to be at the beach shaking your booty and twerking all over. The, you don't have time for that no more. You got a kid, so now you work on a schedule. And most people that don't have kids don't understand that you got to work on a schedule when you got kids. So she's on the schedule. So Mackenzie Dern got to get it done. There's no room for error. Mackenzie Dern, I know for a fact, this, this fight camp, she was serious. Mackenzie Dern wasn't playing. I guarantee you, Mackenzie was a joy to work with during fight camp. Whoever was in charge of her training, I know that this was the best fight camp that they ever had with Mackenzie Dern. Okay, it had to be. I got to say it. I'm biased, but I'm balanced. I, I, folks, I got to say it. I got to come out and I got to say it. Okay? Um... But back to Hannah Cyphers. Hannah Cyphers lost this fight because of her octagon IQ. Uh, she was actually winning the stand-up battle. Mackenzie Dern tried for a takedown. Hannah Cyphers couldn't, I mean, Mackenzie Dern couldn't get the takedown. Hannah Cyphers is too damn strong. She took Mackenzie Dern and threw Mc, and just pushed Mackenzie Dern off like she was nobody. Mackenzie tried again. Hannah Cyphers threw her to the ground. Okay, now, common sense, okay? You take Mackenzie Dern down, you get up, you disengage. Not Hannah Cyphers. Hannah Cyphers tried to ground and pound Mackenzie Dern. That's a bad mistake. See, it was stupid because you can't, you know, Mackenzie Dern, you, you have to respect, you have to respect her jujitsu. 
Okay, you got to respect this ju jujitsu master. You have to. Hannah Cyphers didn't respect the jujitsu master. She didn't. She didn't do it. She tried to ground and pound. And when you try to ground and pound somebody like that, as high level as Mackenzie Dern, it's not going to work. She's going to catch a limb. She's going to get a limb. She's going to grab something. Mackenzie Dern is dangerous, okay, on her back. Anyway, especially on her back, Mackenzie Dern dangerous, okay? You, you can't do it. Is you safe to just let her get up? Nope. Hannah Cyphers didn't do it. Hannah Cyphers tried to go for the quick finish. You can't. You're not finishing a girl. See, they saw Amanda Rebus. Well, Hannah Cyphers not Amanda Rebus. They got two different skill sets. Amanda Rebus could take advantage of things because Amanda Rebus' jiu-jitsu is better than Hannah Cyphers. So Amanda Rebus was a little bit more comfortable doing it, trying to ground and pound. Hannah Cyphers, your jiu-jitsu not there. You can't. You can't roll. With Mackenzie Dern, you're not gonna you're not gonna be successful. And what did Mackenzie do? Hannah Cyphers tried to ground and pound. She tried to mount. She tried to mount Mackenzie Dern. You don't do that. You don't do that. So Mackenzie Dern grabbed her leg and put in a damn knee bar. It was all she wrote. That's it. Hannah Cyphers had to tap. I felt bad for Hannah Cyphers because she was winning this fight. She was literally winning the fight. But this is MMA. Submissions count as a finish. That is just what it is. It's what it is. See, you can't beat McKenzie Dern at her own game. You got to make McKenzie beat you another way. You got to make her beat you another way. You can't allow this woman to beat you with her bread and butter. You make a girl like McKenzie, she couldn't, she couldn't take you down. She couldn't do it. You had it. You were there. You make this woman beat you standing. That's the only way that she's going to be able to beat you. And if she can't beat you on the, if she can't, if she can't take you to the ground, then she ain't beating you standing because you were winning that matchup. Man, this is a good learning. This, this, this is a learning experience for Hannah Cyphers. Like this could have been a huge win on your resume, but now it's a submission loss. Okay, and it didn't have to be. It didn't have to be. Now you know, respect to Mackenzie Dern. Respect to her game. You know, she's tough. She can fight. Okay, she can fight. Mackenzie Dern can fight. That's just what it is, y'all. You know, I know she's not a fan favorite. Yeah, I know everybody still, you know, on McKenzie ass. And she still was trying to talk like, you know, she a, a true born blood Brazilian. She was trying to. She tried to. I've heard this girl talk better English than some of y'all. Stop. Stop, McKenzie Dern. I've heard McKenzie Dern talk better English than some of y'all people that come on here. But, hey, that's it. That's just what it is. McKenzie Dern came in and she did what she did. You give, look, look, look. We can criticize her stand-up, yeah. But when you, if all you've been doing is jujitsu since you come out the womb, yeah, it's going to take a while. Mackenzie Dern's still young. She's still young. She got time to get her stand-up, you know, to a point to where it's going to help her. And I think, I thought it helped her in this fight right here. Okay, she's going to learn how to strike. But when you, when you, like, give Mackenzie Dern an opportunity like that, when you try to strike her, when you try to get, when you try to mount her, Sorry, excuse my language. What the hell did you think was going to happen? What did Hannah Cyphers think was going to happen? And there's no disrespect to Hannah Cyphers. You got to respect the game. You got to respect the game. That's just what it is. Shout out to Mackenzie Dern. First round knee bar submission victory. I'm done.